Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, guys. So, today I have this objection that mainly Christians make this objection actually. So, they, they say something like this that in the Quran, Allah says He does not love sinners or unbelief generally. So, Allah does not love the sinners. Uh, okay, so Allah does not love unbelievers or sinners. So, they think this is something wrong, like someone like David Wood. He thought like you see at least me i love sinners or something like this so i have more love than god so because god doesn't because allah does not love the sinners so this is something wrong because the god of the bible loves everyone even the sinners god loves the sinners what so this is the objection so when you hear this you need to think about it it sounds nice but it doesn't have any substance if you think about it in fact if God truly loves the sinners and the unbelievers, really, and while they are doing the, that act and they remain in that act, the consequences will be great. So what are the consequences? You see, the point is conse consequences, even that word that I just used, I believe is the strongest claim for morality. The fact that we are going to go back to God and he's going to judge us, that is the thing that keeps people in line. You see, people might know that there's God, Maybe they don't really understand it and they will go off doing something wrong. But if the moment you know there's consequence for every action that you do, that way you will be in line. You won't be, you won't be doing just whatever. You see, that is like the natural CCTV. You see, when no one is watching you, you can be able to know, like, see, if I do something wrong on the day of judgment, the consequences will be great for me. So that way you'll be in line. So now, when you now say that God loves the sinners, first of all, what does that even mean? Does God love the things that they are doing? For example, someone is killing someone now. He's a murderer. Does God love the murder for what he's doing? Okay. See, if, if the person, I'm not talking about the person. If you're a murderer, God does not love you. <laughs> you cannot say God loves the murder because that is his job. That's what he does. And he's going to continue doing it till he dies. See, if I meet a murderer, for example, or someone that is a sinner, I'm not going to tell him, see, God loves the sinner. No, I'll tell you, see, what you're doing is wrong. God does not love what you're doing. Because that's where morality is. If God is okay with people doing sins and, it, and people are doing good, and then God is also okay with doing sins, then morality is gone. What is the point of morality? If God loves the sinner and the one that is not sinning, then both of them are equal. There's no consequences. So what's the point? So God, Allah SWT makes it clear. He does not love the sinners and the the Zolimin, the Zolimin are the, the people that transgress limits, the people that are evildoers. God does not love them. How can you say God loves the evildoers? And I think this is just some apolog uh, apologist kind of catchphrase. It doesn't really, even Christians, I'm sure they won't believe this. Like God truly loves the evildoer. God loves Pharaoh or, or Satan. What about Satan? God loves Satan. <laughs> Come on, guys. See, this is weak argument, okay? See, if you're a sinner, and you continue doing that sin, you need to know that that action that you're doing, God does not love it. This is against God. You are sinning against God. How can you say God loves when someone sins against him? Of course not. Only if you repent. This is where the repentance comes in. So Allah will never turn you down if you repent. That is love. That is mercy. The mercy is the point that, hey, what I'm doing, God does not love it. So now I realize what I'm doing is wrong. And then I go back to God and say, God, please forgive me. I'm sorry. And then God forgives you. That is the mercy. That is the love. If God didn't forgive you, then maybe, like, if God was not merciful, then you can say something like that. But God is merciful. He gives opportunities for people to come back. So, this idea that Allah does not love the sinners, I'm, making, I'm saying it again. Allah does not love the sinners and the, 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 the unbelievers. God does not love that. If you go against God, God does not love you. <laughs> God, because, see the consequence I've told you. It's nihilism, basically. Nihilism. Such that, the ones that are doing something good, they will not have motivation to do good anymore because you can also do bad and it's also fine. If doing bad is fine, then what is the point of doing any good? Everyone will just do whatever suits them. So this is a very uh, weak point and I just wanted to clarify that. And Christians, they need to stop saying this, you see? We can see through all of this kind of weak arguments. Allah is the most loving and the most merciful and the most just. And yet, He sets a criteria that you don't cross the limits of God. You don't go against God and expect God to pamper you. No, you're going to get punished. If you remain a sinner till you die and you don't repent to God, you're going to be punished. 
So we pray that Allah should protect us and forgive all of us and make us part of those that are constantly repenting. You see, Allah says, Bada uh, huzubillahi minash shaitan rajim Kul ya ibadiya ladhina asrafu ala anfusihim La takunatun bi rahmatillah Inna Allah yagfiru dhunuba jamia Inna huwa al-ghafuru rahim That tell my believers, the people that have transgressed the limits You see, the sinners, tell the sinners that have, they have sinned La takunatun bi rahmatillah Don't give up the hope of mercy from God So, Allah didn't say continue doing what you're doing, no don't give up coming back and stopping what you're doing. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Always come back. Even if you are sinning constantly, come back to God every time. Say, I'm sorry. Come back sincerely. لا تكنتو من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر ذنوب جميع Allah forgives all sins. That is the love. The fact that God can forgive all sins, that is the love. Not loving the actions that they are doing. See? إن هو الغفور الرحيم Allah is like a, is the most forgiving, the most merciful. So let's just wrap it up guys. So assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.